Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2015. Today I haven't got a clue what we're going to be doing. So I do know that there's a ton of bailing to be done. Oh yeah, that was it. We bought our new trailer and things for stuff and things. So bought that. Um, we've got a big field of this barley yes barley to be done how much do we have in storage barely 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 not much not a lot okay well we're gonna put this going because about four five six seven days ago I don't know um, I put up the video for course play and this is being recorded on the same day so that kind of gives you an idea of how far ahead I am now there's no set schedule for when this could go out at all. So it could go out today actually even. Don't know. So we're just gonna hire a worker. He is full. He is full already. Okay. So when you tap here, uh, right click. New. No. Oh yeah, uh, I remember now. Um, you set course play individually to the tractor. So I'm gonna go to settings and change this to right mouse button again because this tractor doesn't have a loader so it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna start my course. Um, if you didn't watch my tutorial, this is how you do it. You say <coughs> start course recording. You drive straight for two of those green things and then you can turn. You shouldn't turn before them because that that's its calibration to, um, to to say to tell it about the straight line so it would be more accurate if you do go straight if you don't if you do any turning at all it gets less accurate and the more turning the worse it gets so you drive round your pass try not to overlap them because if two tractors and they crash you have to sort that out just drive straight over your tipping point and back up here Ooh, easy. And up the dirt pass. And Ooh. go a small bit further and stop. Okay, and start at the first waypoint you want to send it to. Unless you're starting it somewhere random. Actually we leave it at nearest waypoint. And just tap it forward. Um, we'll leave it on that for a minute. We're going to save this as off road field 24 plus 30. Is it 30? And we're going to pretend that it'll do both. If it doesn't, that's fine. I'll make another one. And you're gonna go to the driver, you're gonna tell him drive course. And you're gonna tell him manually find one. And he's found him, so it's working well. Now he's either trying to get the waypoint or he's doing it right. He's doing it right. So he's going to work away here. And He's gonna pull up alongside quite slowly. Uh, how are you doing for setting? Where yeah, this one. He's gonna start at 50. I'm gonna get up to 85, 85. Actually, 80. And he's gonna drive on at 90%, which will be fine, I hope. And he's gonna work away there himself. Now, we shall go bailing. So, we get our bailer and we're going to bail this. Um, I must yet figure out how to do other things with course play other than offload the trailer because that's honestly all I have, I have done. But the interface is much more friendly than it was before. So I'm just going to get rid of all that stuff. I'm going to go up and go bailing. I should have washed the track before we started. Oh well. And I wouldn't mind being able to see my speed. Stop. 
Okay, so is he working? I have to bring it all back up again. Ah, uh, hit it. You know what? We're going to get rid of the map. How would we get rid of the map? New. No. It's automatic help on. Off. Back. Okay, that's that's a lot clear. So the banner is on. He had some strong or something, but now he does not. And we're gonna go Yay! Okay. So how many bales do you reckon? And how long do you reckon it's gonna take me to draw them all? I'm not gonna do it on screen because it's so near. I'm not gonna use the bale trailer. If I'm not gonna use the bale trailer, that's gonna be a pain. How do I? Oh. So used to being X, driving up the wall, not being X. Okay. What do you reckon? Do I come back when this field is almost built? <laughs> because this is going to take ages. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. We do have 58,000. Uh, could I tell him to... Dare I try it? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, E.T. Show that there. Pop it down. Okay. So if I go that, and I'm daring. So that's how to do field work. Um, how wide is the roar? Where are you? Wind roars, you are <coughs> uh, 12.5 meters wide. I hit 0.5 meters? Okay. 12.5 meters wide. So if we tell you that you are. Is that, is that even right? Just to check. I'm gonna be a right pain about this now. Ugh. Okay. Wow, we had exactly 50. Okay, I'm going to refund myself and tell the store manager that that was a mistake after the episode or mid-episode if I do pause. That was completely unintentional. Okay. Okay, so if we tell you that you are 12... Oh my. This is going to take a while. Yeah, come on. Oop, 25 meters. Okay. Oop. Oh my god. Okay, can I just pop over here? Get a look behind it. So I'm gonna change this to right mouse button because it doesn't have a loader. Okay. 5.5 meters, that looks about right. And if we tell him that we are field edge. We're starting in a corner. How do I scan the field? I've seen someone do it. Forgotten how to do it. So yeah. Um Fifty four, fifty nine, thirty, fifty thirty eight, is this thirty eight? Uh do we have a map here? Don't like that. I hate the eye function, which was on the skip still. This is field thirty two. Where's thirty eight? Okay, so thirty two. Where is Field 32. 34, 39, 30, 38. Calculate. Okay. And we're going to drive to the. This is never. Each other we The northwest corner. Northwest. And we're heading south. South. Okay, and he's gonna be messy at the bottom of the day. 
So if I tell him to drive, oh no, 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 get rid of that. Uh, have you all just saved? Uh, how many headlands do we have? We have two headlands. And. Yeah. I haven't got a clue how to do this. So we're gonna leave for that. I'm wasting time. Okay, so I think I'll be back when I've bailed all this. Because. And it's not how it works. Because I haven't got a clue in the world about how to talk up for all this field. So, back in just a moment for you guys is going to be a long day for me. Yeah, this is going to take a while. A uh, good one too. So, see you guys. Hello, and I am back. Uh, we're almost finished bearing this field. Couldn't tell you how many bears we got. We got a lot though. Uh, so, one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 bales so far, and we've got another 2, I presume, 21 anyway, is the number, I didn't add in the money yet, uh, but I will, so I'll, I'll have to remember to do that. I didn't because I'm fancy stopping the person on course bay. Because then I have to set them all back up again, kind of. And I wasn't bothered. So I'm just picking up a few little scraps here. When I say little, they're not really that little. Uh, next time I'll hopefully know how to use course bay properly and I'll win roll with course bay and then I can build it with course bay. I hope. If he decides to stop every time there's a bail. Or we may, might be switching over to square bales, which a lot of people would think would be smart, but man, I don't like square bales as much as round bales. So, I want to try another thing out, and that's the follow me mod. And all it does is tells one tractor to follow, follow another. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> But, um, if I put a tractor and baler in behind a combine, the baler should bail and try to bail. I've seen someone do it before, don't know how well it works. So he's gonna fish off this field, like so, and that is it. Except for that bit, which I don't know how I missed because that's a massive bit. Okay, and now we're done. Okay. Off the banner, hopping cab, and we'll head away <coughs> off up to the other place. Uh, the combine's been going all along, so he finished up the small field, and he's about a third to halfway through the big field. And there's a like, hmm, I'm gonna need straw again eventually, so I stopped him wherever he is now, and we are gonna put the banner in behind him to see can we actually get him to do that, because if we get him to do that, that'd be great. Then we might go off and do a bit of logging. Because logging is good. I like logging. Okay, so now I was home. And what's that thing? Okay. There, Ooh. get a bit of air. Now, also, what I want to invest in is the in game chipper. Uh, I'm gonna say something contradictory in the chipper mod spotlight, and afterwards, I don't see what's so bad about the um, in game chipper. I don't find it that hard to use, so I'm gonna get this back up. I'm gonna pull him, whoa, in behind him, and we're gonna go. Right shift. Is this right shift? What is the button? Left shift. Do I have it installed? 
There we go. Left, uh, left, alt, F. This is the leader. You're the leader. Okay. Fine. So if I rehire him now, and I'm gonna take him on a big swing for reasons of safety, and I'm gonna turn him on. And I'm going to turn them off, actually, because I want to get, get back into the other tractor and turn on the banner quite quickly. And if I turn the banner, will you bail for me? Okay, so he's bailing. Eh, I'll get over that. And how do I tell him to go backwards? No. Uh, right control. What? Right. Oh, right. There we go. Yes. Yes, he will bail. He shall bail. Okay, I can see the distance going up. Um, I'm gonna keep him about twenty back. Okay, so I did take him a bit too far. Meh, we bring him all the way back up into the tin. Okay. That actually, actually is a good offset. Uh, I hope I fertilized this. I believe I did. Okay, so now we've got an automatic baler, basically, for straw. Uh, you look as if you have an awful offset. And I could have done that. Okay. And all around. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna stop you from falling. Because you're in his way. Okay. Can I control you now? I can. Okay, I'm gonna swing around quickly. Really quickly. Gonna say, follow. Yeah, he's got an offset, definitely. So, I'm gonna go. Zero, an offset of zero, okay. So we're gonna see, is that gonna straighten up? He's re straightened. And yeah, that's perfect. I don't know what I'm gonna do myself. Ah. I could go selling stuff, I guess. Would 58, how much is it chipper? And how much horsepower is required? We do a small bit of chipping this episode, perhaps. Um. Oops, what am I doing? I keep doing that. 250 horsepower. Ooh, that's a lot of horses. Yeah, it's going to take a while, actually. What's the smallest tractor with which we can do that? You're only 220. You're 263. You do it. Um, what about if I went to my mods? Yes. Yeah, okay, he's only got 238. Okay, so I will have to get the... The... Uh, oops. No, 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 no. <coughs> the... What is it? Dites? What is it exactly? Agriton... Uh... Dites Agriton 7... T two fifty TTV to go chipping. Hmm, that's gonna be a while. So we need two hundred. We need three hundred and ten thousand ish. Ish. Uh, the. Okay, so he's going at nine kilometers because he has to keep that offset. And he's gonna get cotton bales. Oh my. Oh boys. Oh dear. Yeah, that's not good. He's not smart enough to avoid bales yet. yet. They may eventually avoid them. Okay, you stop now, sir. Please. Hmm. We could just uh, course play him, just tell him to record the course. And let's see. Whoa. 
most wiggles as he records the course then we could uh, tell him to bail it afterwards once he's finished and I think that's what we'll do in future although we might be getting a new combine I don't know what we'll be doing okay we're gonna tell him to stop in a because he just called us saying havoc nope nope wait so follow done thank you for your services but uh, it's a bit too messy okay we're gonna get rid of that all right nice. okay okay so we are going to bring everything back to the farm oh steady up man now this tractor will be under a slight tad bit of pressure to pull this trailer on, on its own I think nah maybe not on its own shouldn't be on its own I don't have thing, things in this game shouldn't happen in reality even but they're getting there they're getting there Whoa. last time it was too easy this time it's a bit too tough at times at times so he should honestly just walk away with this trailer it, it weighs what like two tons three tons maybe this tractor is capable of pulling I would say eight tons decently the fact that he's struggling with a three ton trailer it's a bit um, unrealistic so we're going to take this to our forest and we're going to start chopping logs down and I think I'm going to add in that 58,000 now because I want to buy something. Actually, we want to sell the baler. And I'll take that away from what I have to add in. It will be done right, people, I promise. We'll have the, a word with the manager. Okay. We're getting. Oh, can we? We couldn't. Oh dear. Well, we'll need that tractor anyway. Okay, I'll be back once we're buying our new thing and everything is sorted out. See you in a minute, guys. Okay, so I'm here now. I'm going to sell it and I'm go going to go in and have a chat with the manager. Uh, what do we owe? We owe 261. So I'm going to sell that. Sell and I'm now going to go in and have a word with the manager and tell him that it, it never even left his um, his yard so it should be perfectly fine so I'll be back when I have that done okay in I go see you in a minute guys bye okay so I'm back I'm just after stepping out of the manager's office and up the front door and I went into them and I said look uh, I bought this by accident uh, my accountant heard me wrong over the phone is like, okay, what do he? What do you buy? A bailer. Are you the fellow who bought the new home bailer? He said. And I said, yeah. Oh, I was wondering why he was sitting on the yard for so long. That's fine. That's fine. No problem. Uh, we'll, we'll give you a full refund, and he did, as you can see, the exact amount. But now we do have to buy something. He was very nice. Ooh, nope. He was very nice to work with in fairness. He understood and he's like, well, we best keep on your good side because you're the only farmer around here. They are the two wood chippers I reviewed. Okay. And we're getting this log skitter. And we're also going to get if it's here. Oh please be here. Yes. It is I don't know if it even works. I just got it because we needed a bail handler to draw the bales. Okay. Oh no, I've got to wait. I've got to wait. Well, I'm sure they won't mind. I can't remember if I saw, said this for or not, but he's like, yeah, I don't mind. That's fine. Keep it, we best keep on your good side because you're only farmer around here for a long time. All the old farmers shut down. We had um, we had the the wheat farmer. We had the, the cow farmer. We had the sheep farmer. We even had the fella doing a bit of a bit of chickens. They all shut down. And he said, well, you'll probably take over from all of them, so we'll keep on your good side, so. So now we're going to go chop down trees, and I have no clue how long this recording has been going on for. And I should. I also need to put you back going. 
Nope. Nope. Gonna hire the worker. And. Go down here and tell him to. Uh, save. Load it up. And right, of course. From wherever did I tell him to try from? It doesn't matter. He'll find his way. He can do it. Okay. Has he done it? He's done it. I do like how they do put the cover on the trailers, if there is a cover. Okay, back to business. Oh my god. Buttons. Keyboard. Sorry, cars. Sorry, cars. Is there a... Locking script attached fails? There is. It should be Odo. I'm so used to the old controls. He's gonna drag me up the wall. What is that? Can it tip? So if I... Maybe lower... Yeah. And I presume it can tip because there's like a, a bar with the middle. And crash now if I look away. No, that's just for reinforcing. Oh. No, that's just reinforcement. Ooh, pull. Okay. You know, we'll quickly test it out because we're here. <laughs> we're here now. Okay, so we're gonna lower it. Uh, no, I just. Oop. Don't see where I am. Oop, nope. Okay, please don't jump. And we'll lift it up. Yep, yeah, works lovely. Uh, the BL doesn't go flying off like they used to if you do any bit of turning. I haven't locked it yet. Okay, easy. I have not locked it. I do see that he is in traffic. Lift that up. And X. And they should be locked on now. And they're not. X. Okay, they should be locked on now. Or is it a giant locking script? Okay. Now you're gonna see what's his problem. You're caught him behind the bear. Are you joking me? Okay, I'm just gonna push it out the way. Come on. The new Holland Bailers are made of good stuff. Okay. And done. And time to drive the course. Okay, and he should be fine. Back to work. There will be better bear prongs, uh, but I see that they're not quite fully resting properly, but one of it, I'd say. Doesn't particularly matter that much. So I'm just going to drop them, I don't know, here. Okay. I'm going to bring this up. And we're going to drop it and we're going to attach it to the other tractor. Because that's the tractor that's going to be pulling the logs. Stop. Drop that off. And... Pull that in. Yeah, we could use that weight, but we'll be passing that kind of direction when we do get our first load of logs. And um, when we sell our first load of logs, let's face it, we'll be rich. We'll be rich. I can't remember, what did I save this game to be? Was it hard? Was it medium or hard? I can't even remember. Okay, so we're going to set it here because that's sort of level. And we're going to head back to you. We're going to back in. And we're going to attach him and we're going to drive off. Yeah. <coughs> so, load her up. So we have to be dealing with it. Now, this is the fun part. Do I have logs in here still? I do. Okay, that doesn't matter. They can stay there. They're fine. We do need to get up into the backwoods. So, it's kind of a slight little pat here. Very slight. And if I do remember correctly, the edge of the map is right about here. 
Yes. I knew it was way before that tree. I can't even get to that one, I believe. That's fine. We're, we're over the tractor now. And we're going to turn around. And we're going to chop. And I can't remove my chainsaw. Okay. It's the room like. We've got tons of room here. Okay. I'm going to do two trees today. And no more. So, the best way I find to chop trees is not just one straight flat, and I mean flat as possible. Cut across the bottom in the direction you want it to fall. And you're going to be a pain. But that's fine. It's absolutely fine. Uh, you. Next. And that's so. And you're probably going to be a pain as well. Maybe not as much. Okay. And we're going to hop into this tractor. Obviously. And my god, he's still rolling. Yeah, he's going to be a real pain to get at. So we're going to leave him. And we're going to back up there. Okay. Back up here now. Okay, easily now. Okay, and we're gonna open the grab. Standard controls. Gonna back up a tiny bit more. Okay, now hit X and that drops that down. We're gonna get rid of the help because I know how to use it. And clamp it and re X. And Word to the wise, he doesn't have that great a hold of it, in all fairness. So I'm going to go this way as much as possible. And try to keep him from hitting the ground too much. Don't go over massive ridges because he will drop it. And we're under a bit of pressure. And we're going to knock this sign. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to drive up alongside the trailer to log as straight as with the trailer as I possibly can. And a bit more there I think is good. Run on the tractor. And that's perfectly in line with it as far as I'm concerned. It's good enough. And because these trees honestly aren't all the same size, we're going to cut this fella off. What well, looks to be about halfway in him. So we're going to come in a small bit. I know we're going to chop our box a little bit with one of it. We don't store anything in there. Be fine. And now we've got two logs which should fit almost perfectly onto that. And we're going to drop them. I'm going to drop him off there. And we will go get the second one. No, I've been going long enough, that's it. We'll leave that for now. Is there a stabilizer in that? There is. I never noticed that before they put a little spring here to stop their arms from swinging side to side as you drive. That was a nice little touch, I have to admit, there. Okay. And how do I open it up? Stupid controls. Dude. Okay, open her up to the last. I'm gonna do this out cab because there's nothing to do it in the cab really. Okay. Put it down. And which way is it? This way. This way. Okay. Nope. Missed. Okay, and there. Whoa, that's heavy. That's quite heavy. Okay, that's a load. Okay, can I? No, 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 no. Okay, we need to get a weight for this. Uh, 
And we're looking good. Looking very good. Perfect. And we're going to open that up, whichever way is open. And that'll do. And we're going to tip back so we don't get caught. Lovely. Okay. Now this one will be a small bit more fun to catch. Okay. Shiver in. And I think I've got him. I think I can. Yeah, we've got him. Okay. Oh, very wobbly. Very, very wobbly. Okay, I'd hate to be in that tractor. <laughs> I'll see. Better doing that constantly. Okay, and are you opening or what are you doing? Lovely, we've got two almost perfect lint logs inside the trailer. And are you two logs you are? I can see the cut. There's the cut. Uh, yeah, we'll probably start uh, doing something else with them. So that's been this episode, guys, I think. There's a the guy in course play. What are you doing, man? Uh, combines, mainly. Uh, you found them, you found them now. Okay, thank you. Thank you for being so useful. You could have this field done and everything, but no. Okay. And uh, he's going to drive through the two bloody bills in the entire field. Why? Don't like how you just jump over things and drive over things in this. It's quite annoying. Why do you have to go for the two bills, honestly? Okay, well, until next time, guys, I'll finish this field off screen and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I will do. Uh, we'll go wrapping and drawing the bales next episode. And I'll try and figure out how to bale this field, of course, but So, until then, guys, bye. Have fun. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And see you next time. Bye.